Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with the NVIDIA Shield Zone and we're going to uh, show you how to get past one of the little idiosyncrasies of the Shield Android TV and that is sideloading games that don't uh, support the joystick directly or the controller directly but instead need some form of mouse control. Now in order to do this I, I know you were probably looking for some way to re-enable the touchpad on the controller. Unfortunately I'm not here to help you out with that. Instead uh, for a mere 20 bucks you can lay your hands on one of these guys. This is the Nyko GamePad Pro controller. It's uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks on Amazon and it's a very nice controller. It's well built. It's very comfortable. It's not the Shield controller, which comes with the Shield TV, but once you pair it up with Bluetooth, it actually acts just like the actual controller would. You can still do all the regular controller stuff with it. But what makes this little guy so special is on the back there are switches that allow you to put this controller into different modes, including a mouse mode. So what we're going to do is I've already sideloaded a couple of games that are not controller friendly. Namely one of my favorites, which is Shine Runner. All right. So Shine Runner, as you can see, has absolutely no UI controllable by the controller. You got nothing. Oddly enough, there are options to use a controller for gameplay, but not to get around the UI. This is actually more common than you think. So what we're going to do is on the back of the Nyko controller, we're going to shift this guy over to mouse mode. It's two clicks over, one, two, and all of a sudden, voila, I have a mouse. So I'm going to go into my options. I'm going to see if there's any sort of controller settings, which there is for gamepad, but the UI doesn't support it. Interesting, right? So now that we have this all set up, most games, a lot of games that are controller supported won't even have that in the options. But now we can actually play the game. Once we start the game, I'm going to double click over to the controller. And now, I, as you can see, I'm in full control of the game. Didn't have to use an external mouse, didn't have to do any sort of weird wiring. All I had to do was simply flip a switch on the back of the Nyko gamepad. And now I can play this great game, Tegra Enhance, the whole bit, right on my nice big screen on the Shield Android TV. It's fantastic. Right? And there are some controls already mapped to this thing. But if for some reason I needed to, I could whip the mouse back on and get to the pause menu and do whatever I needed to do. Right? Home button works just like you would expect it to. Oh, see, now we're in uh, the sort, of, sort of a weird Android mode. You can't actually select anything, but you can still use the mouse pointer. It's interesting. So we'll go back to controller mode, two clicks over, and we are back in business. Absolutely one of the most useful things you're going to find uh, with this controller in mouse mode are things like web browsers. Any sort of actual application itself can probably benefit from a mouse. But literally, if you go inside of Chrome, there are a few things you can do with the controller. Right? There's certain things you can do moving around. Uh, now what? <laughs> you can't get to the URL to type anything. You are kind of stuck. Except for you can exit, of course. Alright, let's jump back in there again. Okay, we now we can type in here so we could go to some website. I was going to do NVIDIA Shield Zone, but it might take a while. All right, we'll just go to NVIDIA's site, I guess. All right, so you hit go. Well, that doesn't quite work out, right? This, uh, you're just fighting with the controls the whole time. Well, two clicks, and you got a mouse. All right, so you can use the mouse just like you might normally use it. All right? Unfortunately, you don't have a microphone to talk into. Switch back into controller mode. I know what you're thinking. It might just be easier <laughs> to use a mouse. But when you're on the road, right, 
Alright, so we can jump back into mouse mode. Actually click what we want. So again, now imagine navigating something like this using anything but a real mouse or something like this controller, right? So using a browser with a mouse is excellent. Well, that's about it. Um, like I said, this uh, very nice little controller can be had for about 20 bucks on Amazon. And uh, let me tell you, it really can get you out of a pinch if you need uh, to use a browser to authenticate to a hotel Wi-Fi, for example. Um, there were uh, there was one case where simply there was no other way to do it without using a mouse and if I hadn't had this controller with me I wouldn't have been able to get on that Wi-Fi. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look um, using the Nyko Pro Pad to uh, get around some of the mouse limitations of the Shield Android TV. This is Shane R. Monroe and NVIDIAShieldZone.com